Welcome back to the English in English podcast. I'm Brett. I'm Eric. Well, you did it backwards. Oh, yeah, well. I was waiting for you. That's what that <laughs> awkward I was pause let you was. Do it this time. Well, no, it this always is... the first person who starts then says. Okay. I didn't know we had the rule book. Apparently, we need to write this stuff down. But I do have a lot of topics. It's a productive week. Mm-hmm. This kind of weather just makes me feel happy. Mm-hmm. It's not raining. Yep. It's all good to go. It's funny how that works. When you have time, like it's raining, I'm not doing anything. I'm going to be stuck here for a while. I can't yeah. go outside or anything. You, but you have no inclination then, of course, to do anything. You just... You can't raining. do anything outside either. Right. But I mean, like, getting ready for the podcast is stuff we do inside. But Yeah, but I don't do, like, I don't sit down and say, I'm going to get ready for the podcast. I just, if I think of something, I write it down. Yes, yeah. But I'm, I'm saying, it's funny how the human ability, the human mind works like that, you know? Right. It's like when it's just the whole everything works on the feast and famine twenty percent rule. Maybe those kind of things just happened this week. It's also speaking of which, we are now on iTunes, so all three of you Mm -hmm. can go uh, look on and find the first one. I think only the one we'll have it linked on the website soon, or you can simply search. So they're not all on iTunes because only the ones that we've uploaded. since It takes a while to become accepted on the process with uh, iTunes. They have like a review period kind of thing, which we somehow miraculously made it past. Right, I'm not sure exactly what they do. Maybe <laughs> right. they just basically they check must to not make sure. To it. <laughs> right, yeah, they must. They must just check to make sure it's actually a podcast, and that's right. about it. Or not, you know, like a, an infomercial disguised as a podcast. Oh, but I don't uh, even know if they'd care about that. I'm not sure what they would look for. I don't know because I'm. I'm planning make sure on, it's uh, original. I'm content, on having maybe. original infomercials, you know, in a few episodes here. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, obviously, people have uh, sponsors and you know paid right. so advertising on their things. For. They're probably looking for um just to make sure that the RSS feed is good, the file types are all right. Right. Well, also to make sure it probably doesn't violate, like you know, if it is a hundred percent just the sounds of a man having sex with his goat, they or probably like... just don't <laughs> accept that. <laughs> I bet they would. <laughs> anyway, so we're on iTunes now. It took a little while, though, so only the most recent couple of uh, ones will be up on there. And we don't yet have a way to get the previous ones up because it doesn't let Which you doesn't really backload matter. I don't think we're going to worry even worry about that. Right, but I mean, well, if you who, are an iTunes yeah. user and you've only done us through the uh, YouTube channel so far, now you can start getting them on your iTunes iPods instead of just through SoundCloud. Right. And so give us a rating. Yeah. But, oh, I have to ask you this before I forget. I didn't watch... I'm a well-known hater of the new Hobbit movies because yeah. just, they're really disappointed in them. Yeah. They, but, I did not So like I didn't even... Movie. I watched the first one, I think, in theaters. Real quick, though. I was the awkward guy like in the group, so I would go see it with friends, usually like opening weekend. Right. So and, like, a lot of friends would, And then they were into it, and some of them were like, eh. And some of them were like, oh, I liked it. I had to be the one that was like keeping my teeth clenched because I'm like... I just want to tear this thing right. seven no new assholes. No reason to steal their joy. But I'm not going to steal right. their joy. Like, oh yeah, I kind of liked it. at big fight scenes. I'm like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, the one uh, thing that I did, I watched the first one, I think, in theaters. The second, I was like, Bleh. The second one, I saw on an airplane because it was literally the only thing I to saw do. all three of them in theaters. And then the last because one, I didn't friends. even bother. Yeah. But I did see some thing where some guy apparently went back and edited them into, into one the, movie. Into one movie. Yeah, I heard of this. It's like one three and a half hour movie. I don't even know if it's that long. It's not that long because there's a lot to take out. Right. But probably one three hour movie that's pretty close to the book. Right. But the one thing that he mentioned because he was talking about what he did and I was reading his method. It, like, yeah. Well, I took this out, left that in, I moved this, and he was talking about the third one, which I hadn't seen, and he mm. said I edited out the part where Bard uses his son as a bow. And yeah, I was like, "What the fuck does that mean?" I don't, yeah. I, even, I don't even want to know what that means, but right. I do want to know. So, what the hell is he talking? Because, like, about? in the movie, they made this up this contrivance to make things more epic. I guess I don't know. Like, because in yeah. the in the original book, Bard shoots. He finds right. out about the missing scale. The missing scale on, uh, the, on the dragon's stomach and hits that with an arrow. Right, and brings he's an awesome. Because he's awesome, yeah. and he's like the only. And human it was brave a super it was a special arrow, right? No, I don't even it think it was a special arrow. It was okay. just just an arrow, and he's super but good. he was just. A man of a man, and the only man that was brave enough to take, the to one take shot. on the dragon, yeah. and he stood in the in the burning city, right. and you know stood there until he had the shot, and you know, and, and it was more a tale about the hubris of the dragon that it right. thought it could be unharmed, and right. and here this little thing, this little man with a single arrow, can take and it down because weakness. it goes straight through into his heart. Right. Well, in this, they made up something like you had to use a black arrow, right. and it's like some dwarven forged thing that's basically like a giant. Spear yeah, it's like needs to be shot from a spear. ballista, not right. an arrow. Right, like a ballista. So there's a ballista on the top of the tower in town, but the dragon takes it down. So he's in this ruined tower, and he has no more ballista. So he has his son hold like one end of the, 
like his son is like bracing himself like arms crosswise yeah. on the two posts he's like taking hooks and like hooked the the cord into the posts and he's using his son to brace the bolt and he's like don't breathe and then he <laughs> t- shoots the oh, bolt God. you know and i'm just like what the fuck yeah, you know like first terrible. off the <laughs> amount of test pull that's going to be coming off this thing on like a ballista on a yeah. ballista it's oh, going to break these pounds. beams yeah. or break these hooks or it's not going to work on these beams that don't flex. Like the whole power of right. it is not the cord stretching. No, it's so much it's as it is the cord is taut enough to flex back several hundred pounds of wooden or an beam. iron beam or something. Well, so, wood because it has yeah. that flexibility, yeah, yeah. but it's flex banded, you know, banded with iron to keep it from snapping right. and keep it tough. But yeah, like you know, yeah, it's not like an elastic rope or something, right? It's not like you use, oh, it's spring, you know. Yeah. Like, no, <laughs> it's like you're using the tension of yeah, maybe a spring leaf, a spring metal leaf. You or, can do it with elastic, but obviously they didn't have elastic. Right, like, but they, if you use elastic, you're, you're making a giant slingshot. A slingshot, which is... You're not making a bow. You, I know you know about the uh, the slingshot channel on right, YouTube, because yeah. you told me about that. He could make something, I believe, right. but he wouldn't have his son standing as well, the... I mean, they didn't have Theraband gold. That he right, uses. yeah, exactly. <laughs> but his stuff's cool, because he... There's this YouTube channel called uh, the Slingshot Channel. Yeah. And so basically, that's the difference. If you're using something that flexes, it would be a bow. If you basically have a bow, but it's the string part of it that, that stretches fle- yeah. then it's really a slingshot not a bow so it can be a slingshot crossbow or whatever right. if like the crossbar is static and then the stretchiness is in the string right exactly or the band i mean like bowstring obviously flexes somewhat but that's not what but the power that's not is the that's just the nature of the string just nature of string everything flexes you get nothing it makes and that's no, also no why difference. they treat you and w- they would use special kinds of string so yeah. that it eventually it would get to the point where it doesn't stretch too much you, then you'll have to keep tightening it and stuff and right. it flexes out it's supposed yeah. to last many uses without restretching the. So I string. always wonder. I was like, uses his son mm-hmm. as a bow. I was like, I don't think I even want to know what that is. <laughs> right? Yeah. The, the other movies are ridiculously in a barrel. It, that was the, honestly one of the lesser and... offensive things within that's the a movie. Shame. Yeah, that's, that's a shame. A... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could be a useful thing. You know, it could be a, a taut moment in a movie where like one guy has to stand still and ho- like, oh no, with the tripod down on the machine right. gun, so he braces it on his friend. It's like we gotta save him. And then or he you know, has to hold a piece together, but in a, a way that together, makes sense. But in a way that makes sense, yeah. yeah. Like, and it adds, yeah, it adds some tension where it's like, oh, this thing is broken. We have to improvise a thing, and one guy's got to sit there and hold it in place, and maybe it right. hurts. Like, oh, it's the barrel's so hot, you know? The, yeah. The or he's sitting him. there, you know, in front. Yeah, the dragon's right. coming at him, and you know, but it, it was just kind of a way that makes sense. Yeah. In a way that, oh, I've made a makeshift bow that could somehow launch this, you know, twenty pound ballista bolt or whatever effectively. Right. Ridiculous. But speaking of fighting, I have to mention UFC because I watched it yesterday. UFC 185. Yeah. It's good stuff. Two titles changed hands. Really? It's crazy. Yeah. Both the challengers made it look like they were the champions defending. So really? Like, they yeah, they like, just like whooped them on. Yeah, exactly. So like the women's strawweight champion, she won, or she the challenger won in the second round. And then the lightweight championship, it looked it was 45 to 50. So he swept all the rounds. Wow. Pretty, be- pretty solid beatdowns. For anyone who's interested in UFC. Cool. I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just haven't been keeping up with it yeah, recently. There's so many events For, now. Exactly. And, and I don't uh, but subscribe over, to cable or anything else anymore. So. Well, I don't either. Right. But I mean... I, this was a pay-per-view and I had to acquire I have, it after I'm the spending fact. my money on other things. And yeah, so, well, yeah. I, I had to acquire it after the fact. <laughs> because now they're like 60 bucks. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Well, I used to go too. Like a lot of places will play, it, and I used to go out and just watch. And you it end up like spending twenty five bucks or whatever anyway. Yeah, well, you're getting a meal too. Yeah, but the problem is, sometimes it gets so crowded when there's a big it's event. It busy, probably is not the case last the event, events, last time. But like any big oh, title, yeah. well, it was still two titles. Two so title fights. Good it, card. it just become like half the time I'd end up standing at. They would turn the pool tables into tables yeah, to make exactly. enough room for these. That at Gators Dockside too. Right. For me, the issue is also like just going to watch any of the fights was almost like trying to watch the Super Bowl. It was, and no one wants to go of, with uh, me because crowd. I want to stay for the whole thing, and they run like ten to one. Like if you yeah. want to watch all the fights, it's a really long time. Right. So you buy one meal for yourself and, and yeah, and three you gotta beers, stretch it out, and then you've got to sit there well, taking up meal a table. And three beers for is like twenty five bucks, right? But I'm saying like even this. if that's okay to you, like okay, I'm getting a meal out of it, and it's still half the cost of the pay per view, right? But then you're standing in an uncomfortable place with a lot of noise. You're trying to hear the fight you and you can't yeah, freaking hear, hear it. Him. And people are cheering over weird and stupid shit, you know, right. and like trying to be, I'm the one. And you're sitting there for four hours with the waitress right. keep asking if you need anything else. And it's you're like, like, no, oh, honey, you're not getting a bigger tip. Sorry, yes. I'm not buying anything else. Yeah, I'm stuck yeah. here for a couple hours. So they just need to make it cheaper. Yeah. Well, what's weird is that you can buy them. I don't think I mentioned this last time I was talking about, but you can buy the, the 
pay per view online through UFC.com. Right. But it's the same price. Yeah. Even though when you buy it through cable, Cable's they have getting to pay half, half of it to the provider, right. like Comcast. Or That's the same problem with like digital distribution but it must be of a games deal, and like, movies. To have this, to, for us to provide it, you can't sell it cheaper anywhere else or something. Exactly. Because wouldn't they want to sell like, like t- a... half price? Get more sales even to them because they get hundred percent of it. Of, yeah, so sell it yeah. for seventy five percent of the pay per view price. They'll still get twenty five percent more money, right? And they'll get it's and a, they'll get. Uh, well, supply and demand says they will sell more of them. Exactly. Actually, actually, they'll get fifty percent more money if they sell it for seventy five percent of the pay per view cable price. You're right, because they're only getting half. They're of They're only the... getting half of that. If they go up to seventy five percent of the original price, they're getting fifty percent again on what they right. have. So, they, so it's sixty bucks now. So they could sell it for thirty and make just as much money, they or they could sell, could sell it for forty or and something make more money. Yeah, and still exactly. sell for twenty sell, bucks sell less it for forty or forty five, and still sell and for... make it for fifty percent more money than they're currently netting. Right, and thus sell more of them that way too. Although I just don't, maybe their infrastructure isn't set up to be able to handle that many. I think it's mostly because they website. have agreements and they don't want to piss off these so. distributors. Yeah, because that's the problem with cable and internet services all over the place right yeah. now. Is that they're still the gatekeepers on a lot of stuff. Fix that. And same thing with like digital distribution of games and stuff. Games again, kind of leading the way because they don't have as many people in the way. But yeah. same thing. Like for a while, digital distribution was the same price right. as, and it still and is for the most the part. Game. It's buying the physical game. But now there's a lot of things like Steam and other things that have it's sales all the time. Common. Where it's a lot more. Common common to get it cheaper on digital yeah. usually you just it's the same price for the first month or two that the game comes out but it'll yeah. drop quickly to get it digitally, to get it yeah. start getting it digitally because then they're not going to make another run of the physical right games. and also because like it's also worked out that steam was smart and did the amazon method where they're just right. taking a smaller piece of the pie right. so even though you still have to end up selling through them to really have a chance of reaching anybody digitally right. anymore it's not that big of a deal it's cause... not that big of a deal because you're not getting 50 percent to the various people along the way that you have to pay on retail exactly. you got to pay your distributors producers whatever that just now you can me, digitally just distribute it and you pay you know 10 to 30 percent i get i just got, saw some guys random and it's not a front either yeah. it's purse on sale when it sells they get 10 or 30 percent of it yeah, you don't have to pay them to list it. Mm-hmm. But they, I saw some guy's video where he was like dumpster diving or whatever, and apparently GameStop, it was a whole stack of games, like hundreds of games, CDs, yeah. that didn't have their cases, I guess. So they just chucked them? Yeah, but they didn't just chuck them. They, they would like purposefully them. damage the discs, like scratching them. They big... want them coming back. Well, see, was, the guy was like, all right, don't, why don't you, aren't you donating these to like a children's hospital or something? That's, that's a funny thing. You know what thing. I mean? Like you're just going to ruin there's a huge, perfectly good games? Or there's a huge well-known... There's orphanage or something. Right. There, well, no, there's a huge well-known charity started by, I think, the Penny Arcade guys called Child's Play. That's their whole purpose well, is to collect games to, and toys. They should talk to GameStop. And stuff, take them to children's hospitals. Who is like ruining good games and right. throwing them away just because they're not going to sell them. Yeah, just because if, well, if I can't get money off this, no one will. Right. It's like, well, no one will if you like donate they, they them. They make to... someone sit there and scratch each disc. Like, yeah. that's what a fucking waste. Yeah. GameStop is pretty much a pawn shop at this point anyway. But Which still, it serves a purpose. Pawn shops. Right, it serves a purpose, but, but it's weird why they're a vindictive pawn that's shop. That's I mean. Yeah, like, they're like, <laughs> Like if you're willing to throw this away, they don't. Pawn shops don't you. smelt the gold right. and then dump the gold away but if like they mix can't it with sell it. Metal right? Yeah, exactly. Like, like I'm gonna mix this with iron if, if nobody <laughs> buys it. Yeah, so that was weird. So yeah. apparently, um, Vladimir Putin has been missing for like a week. Have you heard about what? this? No. Yeah. Like apparently, seriously. Yeah, he's been like missing, kidnapped by Ukrainian well, rebels. No, no. <laughs> it's been like a week, and. Uh, there's been like they He's put out some like oh he was at this meeting and then people went and, like talked to the people and like no it's probably he some hasn't health issue thing this. could be a health issue who knows he probably he had a heart attack having sex with his mistress and then, oh actually no wait that's gonna, not true in Russia they would have admitted it yeah, was a mistress you know say he was wrestling a bear or something right yeah so I'm no and in Russia they just would have said one servicing his many mistresses <laughs> yeah. you know like that's not a good Russian accent <laughs> failed on that one borscht <laughs> 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 But, uh, Please, so we don't know if he's alive or not. Money. Presumably, he is. He's yeah. doing something weird. Yeah, there was in Russia. Um, he's captured by some virile people. President Putin. <laughs> has sexed many mistresses and is locked away for a week. But maybe if, uh, yeah, they wouldn't be shy about admitting the mistress. I think is he married? I'm I don't, know. He's married. I don't I think, think so. Yeah, so he's single anyway. So who cares? I think he's. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm, I just don't, yeah. I think it wouldn't weird. matter he's if he got gone. caught with a like, I don't think he would caught with a mistress. It wouldn't be a scandal like over here. Not as much anyway. Right. It would be a scandal, quote unquote. But at the same time, everybody patting each other yeah, on the like, back. Oh, like, oh, our oh, guy yeah. is virile and a man, you know. Like. But uh, so who knows where he is? I don't think he showed up yet. Right. So that's weird. Keep an eye on that. I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. So Putin's missing. Putin. Where in the world is Putin, San Diego? 
So we watched that movie Housebound. Yeah, that was, was a pretty funny, good. actually. It was this New Zealand horror comedy movie. It's just like a black comedy. Right. And I won't say too much about what's in it, but it's definitely worth right, watching. Right, because the, the, a lot of the humor is the unexpected turns and takes with the uh, horror genre. Yeah. But it was, but it, was um, it was funny. It was it had some funny moments, yeah. yeah kind of unexpected. It starts off a little slow, you know, right. like you might not think about but that's kind of the and it helps the set it up, right? Well, that's it starts it's not off over the top it's comedy, yeah, not too much, yeah. And it's um, it's set up initially like you're not quite sure if it's taking this seriously or not, right? Because it, the initial comedy comes from the fact that the the main character, the woman, is some sort of she's like a delinquent, delinquent, kind of, and uh, like you know, and she gets arrested for doing a petty crime, uh, and. She gets sent back home. Well, that was what was funny to me is because oh, in yeah. the U.S. This was in the U.S. Go like to prison for like yeah, seven breaking years. open a um, ATM machine with, with an explosive <laughs> would send you into federal <laughs> pound in the ass to, prison. To Guantanamo Bay for all right, yeah, exactly. It would call, count as terrorism. Yeah. And, but, she yeah. house and she gets <laughs> house arrest. And she gets house arrest. Like yeah. okay, you know, it's just case of delinquency. Right. Um, so they send her back, and she hasn't been home for years. So she gets sent back to her family's house. In like the and she starts out kind of weird looking. Rural New then Zealand. It gets hotter as the movie goes. Yeah, on. it was it was weird. I think it's the accent. <laughs> right. Yeah. And there's she the only other woman in too, it is yeah, like the other mom. woman is her aged mom. <laughs> right. So maybe that's what it was. But that just did a funny job as the mom, like yeah, like a semi like, 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 rural, oh, like yeah. air, airhead mom, like you know, like right. well, yeah, don't say that. That's rude, and you know, all that kind of so, stuff. Yeah. So she's stuck in this house, and there's there's a. I mean, you, Start finding out that maybe the house is haunted, or her mom thinks right. It's haunted. Like in the twenty years they'd lived there, her mom had never told her that they. It was like it, a, she had encountered weird or bizarre events before. So yeah, so then they have to figure out and what figure happens. out what happened. Well, and the whole time while she's stuck there, while well, she can't leave the house. Yeah, with her ankle brace on everything. Yeah. So it's worth watching. It's on Netflix right now. Right, people have Netflix. Yeah, and it take it takes some turns, and so we can't say any more than that because it'll spoil the turn. Giving it away, right? And speaking of Netflix, now, I know I've been harping about this to you. Uh, but another um, again out oh, of yeah, Australia. Yeah. I haven't watched it. Uh, there's this web series, not a web series. It was a TV series there, but I guess like their series, it's only six episodes a season. Like a is it a half movie. hour? Yeah, I think it's like a half hour okay. show. So it's not very long, but you can watch the whole right. thing. But it's 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 hilariously bad and great because of it. Like it's intentionally low budget and bad, but it's called Danger Five, <laughs> and it's like the and. Oh, I can't even say too much again because yeah, I haven't seen it, it changes drastically in the second season, but I can't say how and why because that gives away a few things. Yeah, don't tell me then. But the second season just gets balls to the walls, like ridiculous. <laughs> and I just... It, initially, it's just a send-up pastiche right. of old, like, adventure, danger, on the right. high seas, like 1930s and 40s. Or actually, it's a... It's a pastiche of like 1950s and 60s TV series right. about that 1940s and 50s serial style. Like, you right. know, like... Like a, a a show that would have been made, you know, like um, Buck Rogers right. way early. Or something like, uh, what was that show with the puppets where they had like the ships and the jets and I can't remember what huh? it was called. It was a show in the 50s and 60s oh, that got parodied and they're, they're kind of parodying some of that with like, you know, every model and like, ooh, it's a tank. It's very obviously a toy tank right. on a set and then it cuts over to the people on a soundstage going, look at that tank. Right. You know, it's coming right at us. And then, you know? it, like, and then it shows like a plane on strings right. like wobbling <laughs> through the air, you know, and it's it's great though. Like basically it's like Danger 5 must uh, – they have missions to stop the Nazis, you know, and, and the briefing always ends like, you know, Nazis have stolen gold for something, and oh, and, and you know, must get it back and, and sa- you know, save our inside man. Oh, and by the way, as always, kill Hitler, you know. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to check it out so you can actually, so we can talk about it. Yeah. And not have to worry about spoilers. But just, just while we're listing unknown gems in there, it's it's really cheesy, yeah. but hilarious because of it. And like, ah, uh, I can't do any spoilers yeah, don't for you me, for the second season, it. but it just gets ridiculous. It changes kind of what it's parodying exactly, okay. and it it becomes actually it becomes glorious. And there's some parts in there that it. Uh, right, just, well, don't tell uh, me, don't tell me. Yeah, I'll watch it. Like it's actually very cheesy and kind of bad, but oh, at the same course. time, yeah. it's so bad it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that. Pen. Yeah, so um, I'll check it out. Yep. I now, I have a couple news stories here that piqued my interest over the week. One of yeah, which I was... I found one too, but I forgot to write it down. Well, one of the ones yeah, that I recall here is... Uh, apparently, ISIS soldiers have been caught in drag. I just saw it this you morning. Saw that. I didn't read it, but... Well, what had ha- what was happening, apparently, is in areas in which the Iraqi soldiers or the Kurdish soldiers or whatever group repelled them or 
fought them trying off. to move about in secret and stuff. No, the ones that were like, they would, you know, they had to flee. Right. So they were, oh no, like, we're getting overrun. And the ones that got that left behind. That plan to sneak out would, and dress like women. Dress as women and try to sneak out, you know, and then they right. get caught and they'd have these pictures of these guys with trussed beard, up. Yeah. With like a beard, like the hood, the burqa's ripped off. Right. And now they're wearing bras, like a guy yeah. with bras and like this really roguish makeup. <laughs> like right around the eyes. Like really obvious. Really obvious, like woman, you know, like right. it would look, you know, very... Maudlin right. over here, except I guess it's you know, if you, all you have is your eyes, you gotta right. make that your eye, you know, it's gotta be your face cleavage. So, yeah, <laughs> face cleavage, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta gussy it up. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Face cleavage, yeah, it yeah. So, it's like a guy with a mustache and these real rouged, you know, like yeah. real pink <laughs> cheeks and real black eyes and like a little beauty mole or something, you know, and, and, then, he's and, all... then, and then he's got like a flak jacket and a bra or something, you know. <laughs> That's hilarious. Big caught, you know. Totally unrelated to ISIS. But I don't know if you were there when we were talking about this, but apparently this was something that came up not long ago. Yeah. But then this may, I thought about this because I just had to poop. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the two about classes lot, yeah. of poopers? But apparently ah! have I did I tell you this? I think it's come up before. Where uh, and they not, the neither group is aware that the other one even exists. Until then, someone broaches the subject. Right, and they're like, What? Is you it people do that? who like are wipe sitting or standing, and I was like, "There's people who stand up." I never yeah. knew about this. Yeah, like, I, how does that not like smash your cheeks together and smear shit everywhere? And then I talked to one who was a, a performed stander. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "It, it does." That's yeah, why that's why I switched back. to sitting. <laughs> but then he said he came across this reformed st- uh, stander. Yeah. He said he'd come across someone who said that because basically there's there's another. Uh, theory out there that you're not really clean unless you use wet wipes yeah, yeah. there's always something going on out there right, and yeah. the guy was saying that you should dip the toilet paper in the water and to like make oh, like, your own like wet super wipe. like stingy don't even buy wet wipes I don't know if it was a stinginess thing it was just like that was their technique I was like what like yeah like a post flush clean toilet water you dip the toilet paper. Well, in. at least they made that important distinction. Yeah, you know? The first thing I thought was like bouncing it off the turd floor. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's really going to clean it but up. Still, it's like you take a handful of paper, it's going to turn into this like tiny, soggy well, Especially mess. toilet paper. Whenever it gets wet, every- it leaves yeah, all these little, little flakes stuff like- everywhere. Terrible idea. Yes, but at least your dingleberries now will be wet paper and not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Terrible. That's the high class it's kind of discussion we have here at English and English. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> But uh, his bouncing around, well, I don't know how to transition off of improv- improvisational we wipes. We can just go like make a flush noise and right, yeah. start talking about something else. Yeah. Dingo and the baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hertz is getting some flack because they're putting Hertz? Camp, Hertz car rentals. Oh, okay. Because like they have, for they've had for some years these... No. That's what I'm saying. It's no transition oh, no from transition. parts, okay. so we just have to jump into it. Okay. Watch this transition in an un- completely unrelated. How's this for not making a big thing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, they have these devices. You know, they have some brand name for it, like the Never Get Lost system, and and they oh, basically have you GPS. Avoid the ghetto or something? No, no, it has. That would be hilarious. <laughs> well, there's an app that does that. People right. have been out of shape about that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> some people want to avoid the ghetto. Go right. see yeah, them. Exactly. You know? yeah. um, <laughs> no, but they have like you know their. Um, GPS devices installed in the car. Like the black box type shit. Well, not that. The ones that people can use. Oh, they have the that too, system. but the navigation okay. devices. Like they just install one of It's one of their upsells that like all of ours come with GPS yeah, built so in. You don't have to worry about it. Well, now they have cameras on them. Okay. And so people are getting weirded out. Like, it is inside the car? Watching me? And they're right. like, they try to show, like, oh, we're not using it right now. Like, yeah, it, we don't have the broadband to. Accident, it's, yeah. Right. It's like. Well, so you say that. That's the same thing the NSA said and everything right. else. Like, or those schools says that when they handed out free laptops, right. it's like, we don't scam we them. It. We don't watch people through them. Meanwhile, on their hard drives, you know, right. like, Jimmy's not doing his homework. Yeah, you know, do your homework, Jimmy. Sally is disrobing. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, like, it just turned <laughs> out they were watching. You know? Or they could, at least. In some well, no, it turned out that they literally were in some of those schools and stuff. And, of course, it yeah. turns out the government was watching everything. And, like, right. they, you know, Snowden and other people revealed that they were even, like, just ripping straight the data from Yahoo. Uh, yeah. Like, they didn't, couldn't prove it for other services, but you know they are. But they were literally yeah, just pulling raw data from, like, Yahoo chat and, that, and combing through it with no lead. It's not like we need to find yeah, this or we know trolling. something. Yeah. Just trolling for stuff. It's not like they had a particular reason to go after one of the person. Right. They weren't like breaking into somebody's feed, like wiretapping a guy who is a suspect. They were right. literally just combing. Just naked trolling. Private, yeah, 
data, private uh, conversations from everybody. But anyway, yes. So that's funny. It's like it's one of these things where like, do these businesses not know the times they're living in? Right. The like that people are wary of this stuff now. Right. And like, and even if it's true, it. even if they are one hundred percent honest in saying that. It's just for right now. It's well, the only for they are ninety nine percent of the time, and right. everyone knows that, and no one thinks it like every day. So they're going with <laughs> looking through all the footage because that's a pain in the ass. Right. But it can be abused, and the problem is you don't know when it is. Right. You know exactly. I mean? and, and you have no recourse. Nothing to do it about is. it. Yeah. You have nothing no, you can do yeah. about it. And it's also just unnerving to people. Like you're making your customer uncomfortable. Yeah. You don't want to just think that someone could like be literally. If you want to have it in there, what you should have it is a little thing that turns around. Like literally, yeah. if. The person is in, they press an emergency button and the camera flips open right. and then says, like, are you injured? Like, hello? Or, like, the voice well, They actually have dash cams that you can buy on um, even Amazon, like 200 bucks, to have accelerometers in them. And at the moment of, like, an impact or sudden breaking, sudden it stop, records, it like, the previous 15 seconds because it's, yeah. it's sort of recording, it's not keeping Right, it, but it. you know that that's your data exactly. and nobody is pulling that from there unless they physically take the device. Right, from you're it. controlling the. Yeah. It's not it's being not even sent back. Online or or anything. even if they don't have the, the capacity to send this wirelessly to a headquarters yet, you give they it can back still just them. review the yeah, footage. You give it the car back. You, know, you don't, you don't get to take the SD card out of the thing and take it with you. Maybe that's the thing. Instead of taking um, uh, row, bathrobes and. Towels from now you're taking GPSs and dash <laughs> right, yeah, cams. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have a friend. And I get who why to, they want you. It helps work. them cover their liabilities, but sure. Just but they're still just—it's it's like still come just on, getting, you're not see what on. you're doing here. You not see how this is going to get people. Upset. I had a friend who used to work for a, a rental car company. I think it was Enterprise, and he said it would always be the way to get your re- reduced fees to come back in is be smell like smoke. Yeah, it's not like smoke. I want a refund. There's something like like they're like, no, it doesn't. Same thing with hotels. But yeah, what yeah. Are you when I worked say? at a hotel for a while. Same thing. It was always hard. We had a no smoking hotel. People right. would complain, and sometimes it would happen. People would right. be idiots. And but you can usually probably, tell when they're just like, can you just give me another room? And like, yeah, the like the funny thing though is that get free shit. the funny thing is on the flip side of that though, if you do smoke in there, like let's say people would complain about the smoke, there's not much we could do other than move them or we give them a refund. Like, charge the people who were in there but people before. who did smoke like yeah. if like very obvious we had like they had stringent like five things that you signed food. off like right. look if it smells like smoke when we get it back from you yeah. we are doubling the charge You're like you get a $250 immediate charge for us to fumigate the room right because people complain so much about because it. it's so much of a liability for us to have smoke in a non-smoking room right, and people just, would you know rent a room and then they you, very smoke. obviously smells like weed in there or right. something and it's just okay but now you're paying an extra 250 right. and they'd be like what and they're like it's on the thing here. We told well, what you if they said then though, if they were just like, "Dude, I did not smoke in there," you're gonna. They That's the thing. Make... It doesn't matter. Like it's because when right. you sign up for like the thing, you're signing a contract saying yeah. we reserve I bet if the made right. A huge stink, yeah, they could they probably fight out. it in court. But, but what know, are you gonna do? Especially if it was like weed or something. They're not right. Yeah, exactly. It. it was always like weed, yeah. Because you know? otherwise you just go outside. So, right. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> One or two times there was somebody who was just literally too drunk to not go outside with their cigarette. Yeah. You know. Uh, but usually then there was other problems too, like they were they barked trash the yeah, they barked. something. You know, people broke a TV, you right. know, because they're just like drunk, <laughs> smashed their head and then the TV, you know, <laughs> like dumb stuff. And they like it would always be funny, like I oh, do, I think I broke the TV. <laughs> they tell you, yeah, like they would just be like, oh, oh, we need to switch rooms. Like the TV's broken here, and then you go in there and, and it's like smashed. Yeah, you're like, you <laughs> That's fucking smashed the TV. And be like, hey, there's something wrong. The TV's not working. Well, go that, in. It's like what's funny is those, right, those people were part of a big group. I'm getting oh, a no. No, faux it's pas. A call from Wyoming. It's most certainly not yeah. someone you want to talk to. I'm sure it's bogus. Yeah. I accidentally answered it, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, this is another, uh, while perusing the news, this is just kind of an amusing story. Uh, apparently, down in like Mexico and other parts of the world where they have very rural areas with a lot of mountains and stuff, Google doesn't put up antennas or infrastructures they don't run wires it's for the satellites event. they use balloons they just oh, tether yeah, balloons because they can just simply Balloon tether it crash somewhere, somewhere and it crashed in the mexico thing and nobody knew exactly what it was they just saw this thing because they don't use them. so they thought it's like a ufo well i mean or... they use the, I mean, like, the we data here don't use google balloons right so no and they don't, they don't even know necessarily that it's a google balloon they just see this Weird aircraft airship. crash you know but really it's just a google balloon with festooned with antenna so that it can 
you know, so relay the internet signal. government spying and, thing. Well, like, you know, all sorts of new, different news stories. Like, was it a spy plane? Or right. like, oh no, a, a, a parachuter just died and fought. Right. Like, so barely like, all these people mobilized were going into the wilderness to like find, find the man them. who crashed. Like, we need to find the survivors, you know? And it's like, <laughs> it just, it's a balloon, you know? Was it even big enough that it looked like it could have had like people on it? I have no idea. It didn't show a picture of what the thing looks like. Yeah. But I'm imagining it probably was. It probably has to carry several hundred pounds of uh, relay equipment. Yeah, imagine it doesn't have a gondola or something where it looks like it's probably just some random like. Well, I mean, I'm sure it does actually have a gondola, but yeah, but like, like a just like like a, open. Yeah, some it kind looks of like box. a web balloon. I'm sure. Right. Exper- you know, where it's doesn't look like. A, I'm sure it doesn't probably look like has a very aircraft large. Well, even a smaller anything. balloon that carries several hundred pounds of stuff. Right. They um, they can have very large balloons. That's what I mean, though. But like the part that's, yeah, I could probably tell that it's not a man. Right, aircraft. but it's probably some you know reflective, you know, like some silver balloon. Right. Or white, or some bright color, and it just—you so see it going away into the ground, and you're like off in the distance. I wonder if it went like a balloon, like yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, like old Looney Tunes. Like, yeah. <laughs> and just flying around everywhere right. really quick. <laughs> Everybody's internet signal gets bad and good. That'd for be a fun. Cause like, now that'd be like a game to go out there with, like the Barrett fifty count, shoot <laughs> you down some like Google balloons. Although I bet they're at like thirty thousand feet or something. Oh yeah, they're probably something huge because they got to clear the mountain ranges. The whole That's point is to get line of sight up yeah, to the mountains so from broadcasting like and then down 5, to the other side. 10,000 yeah. feet up. you got to be like several that. thousand feet above the mountain peak. Yeah. So, so it gets well, enough So then coverage. you have to go up on your own balloon and shoot it. Right, around. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gents of new gentlemanly sport, balloon right. hunting. For, you take a like, balloon to hunt balloons. Yeah, exactly. It's elegant in its and simplicity. Then, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's used darts. Or swords. You have to get really close. You use spears. You, you use your son in. as a bow. Right. <laughs> a true gentleman right. uses his son as a bow. In your airship to right. shoot down other balloons. <laughs> <laughs> or you train pigeons to, like, attack them. Right. To carry, like, C4. You <laughs> or no, blow no, up the like, pigeon. Like, like little uh, claws. And they just go land on it. The modern version is it. probably just fly a drone up to it. That's true. Yeah, you use your quadricopter. <laughs> and it has, like, a needle on the end. Right. This <laughs> little dramatic <laughs> needle. Like, Rows up and you just like press the button and goes yeah. like slowly it's extends. A mosquito drone. Punches, yeah. And then you salvage all the parts. Right, yeah. Or hold them for ransom to Google. Right, yeah. Or you just have it flying like the voice comes over on Google. Right. With, like it looks like the soft or Cobra like, Commander or yeah, something. Yeah, Cobra <laughs> Commander, like Google, you must pay. Yeah. Or I will down all of your balloons. <laughs> That's a bad Cobra Commander, but I right. can't do that much rasp. Well, I'm sure, imagine they're filled with, like, uh, hydrogen, so you'd probably have, like, right. a little cigar on the other Right, yeah, ground. exactly, just and a lighter on the needle, yeah. like a... <laughs> a red-hot a, poker. A red-hot poker, yeah, and just blow, blow it up blow it this kingdom come. Right. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened, too. Maybe it breached and ignited or something, and so oh, they, they just saw the fiery um, explosion. Helium or something not quite as explosive. Something a little more inert, yeah, perhaps. But I don't think there's many lighter-than-air gases that aren't... Um, yeah, animals. mostly they use hydrogen simply because, especially if it's unmanned, who cares if it burns Blows when up, it crashes? Yeah. If it crashes, if it breaches, it's crashing either anyway, way. Right, you're so there's the no shit. chance that, like, you don't whereas if you're lives. human, yeah. you, you don't want to be burning all the way down <laughs> because you have, a, you have a chance to parachute out. <laughs> right. But oh no, now you're on fire too, you know, or it, you know, ruptures and bursts I open. I see a picture of this thing. I'm gonna, go- I'm gonna Google it. Find a Google I'm about see the what Google, Google thinks about their own balloons. <laughs> right? Yeah. Heavily biased. They're so right. beautiful. Oh, yeah, the beautiful, <laughs> awesome balloons that never crash. Right. Weird. Huh. They're just called Google balloons. Apparently it didn't happen. I don't know. It, I just balloon heard the story. Balance. No, Google balance. You Google balloon. Relay balloon of some kind or How something. How loon work? It's a plane. Google balloon crash. Yeah, they're called a loon or something. Like, news from the Associated Press. It was like the model. The name of the model. For the relaying internet service was enough for to have security forces summoned to a mountain. Yeah, like basically nobody knew what it was. In Mexico City. And nobody like, I guess, honestly, Google had gotten permission from Mexico's officials Yeah, because that's how they up, got in, but no, no, but like, nobody, no one person knew what it was. Nobody person knew about it, nor did the local it. authorities. So like when it happened, they're like, there's been a crash in the mountains. Right. What? What well, was it? We don't know. Are too. So like, you Huge know. jellyfish-shaped balloons. Carry antennas deliver on. Yeah, so it says it's a NASA, but it doesn't say what they are. It doesn't give a picture, yeah. Anyway. Well, I want to there see was what an- it looks like. Well, Anyways, well you're searching ahead. that. Yeah. Uh, another one of the funky news stories. Apparently, oh, uh, they are. They're all big, clear balloons. A man in uh, North Carolina, I, I guess, yeah. and his girlfriend or wife or something, were um, arrested for like child abuse because they had cuffed a boy to their oh, front the chicken porch around with a his chicken neck? around his neck. Well, a dead chicken. A dead chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't know. There was no other details. There was right. no like. Why had they done that? 
Or was it like some voodoo thing or something? Right, or was it like, you're gonna, you killed this chicken, so you're gonna sit here with it as punishment. But of course, the picture of these two people, they look like real winners. Right, you know? <laughs> These, like... These aren't as big as I thought. They're not Both the man big. and the woman have the this same jawline, which was sagging and jowly. Yeah. yeah. These aren't nearly big enough to carry a person. Oh, I'm sure they're not. They're meant to carry just some antenna. It's just got like a solar panel and... It's probably just got a, a, a small power like cell way. and like, all it's gotta do is boost a signal. Transfer a signal, you know? This is a big, really clear bag. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But anyway, it was so funny because it was like, had no other explanation. They're like, we're trying to imagine what was, what kind of punishment do they think they were enacting? Oh, they go 12 miles up. Sorry. 12 me. miles. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. So, yeah. So, it, came, it probably looked like a meteor almost, like coming all the way out of the sky, you know, like all the way out With of space. With this weird flapping tail thing. Yeah. Because the bag's probably all deflated and shit. Yeah. How do they get them to stay up where they need to? Without just, know. like, drifting off. Yeah, like, you can't tether it that far up. No, it can't be tethered. And what, do you have attitude adjusters built into the thing to, like... Or maybe at 12 miles, there's simply not enough... You achieve an orbit, you can stabilize, like... Can't you be might orbit. Be, you might be out of atmosphere, though. Orbit there may be like no 90 winds. miles. Or no, something I don't to think get so. into space. I think space technically starts at 90 miles. Yeah, I think that, that's probably... I think that's about right. Something like that. Something around 100 Because 12 miles, miles is only 60,000 feet. Okay, yeah. And planes fly at like 30,000, 35,000 feet. Yeah, so you'd still have some sort of wind interference. Like, what would you... Well, I don't think it'd be much wind. I'm just saying, like, there'd be enough that it wouldn't just automatically... Well, some sort of air flow. That's something like a balloon with none of its own power. Obviously, if there, a balloon can float up there, there's going to be air movement. Right. Weird. I don't know. Maybe we'll research this for the next podcast. No, I'm just kind of curious. I, want, I just want to know how to shoot them down. <laughs> Now my drone theory is out of the window. There's not enough uh, the air moves. up there for pro- propellers. Right. Maybe it just doesn't really matter exactly where they are up there. Like, they're just kind of floating around. Maybe they have a, a fleet of... What it does is there's a network it shows that they talk to each other. Balloons send signals to neighboring balloons and then the ground station. So, I mean, as long as they don't float off like a continent away, it's okay. They're right, just kind yeah, of floating exactly. around up there. Because there's if a signal can reach 12 area. miles straight up, then I'm sure it can go like 5 12, or 6 miles over, too. Well, it would have to be able to go 12 miles over, too. Yeah. It probably even goes better air to air, sight to sight. No, I mean the from areas. the ground. It doesn't really matter if it's over here, over there. It's, you know, right. It's... Well, I'm saying like you know, uh, the ground. You have more things that can interfere in terms of other signals and right. stuff. Whereas sight to sight at high altitude, there's going to be less electromagnetic I'm saying the, interference. The, whatever is communicating with that first balloon from the ground, if it can go 12 miles straight up. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying like yeah. So it's obvious a minimum of 12 miles straight, but also right. at altitude, you're likely to have less electromagnetic radio interference. There's going to be less... Like solar flares. Right, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, there's going to be less ground signals. That's pretty cool, though. Interesting. There's not as many, you know, CB radio guys at 12,000 feet right. talking to each other or something. So you're like, damn it, my balloon is out. Someone, My internet went out. Someone throw up another balloon. Right, yeah. Yeah, it looks huh. like they have this flat... It's like a big jellyfish-looking clear bag. There's a solar panel thing. It looks like it's about seven or eight feet square. Yeah. And then underneath it is just like a lunchbox sized array of like oh, electronics. Lunchbox sized, no, that's what it is. Well, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Probably like a briefcase size. It's hard to tell what the scale of the device is without just a, a box reference underneath picture. it. Definitely yeah. not big enough. Yeah, like a suitcase size. Without Definitely a reference picture. Big enough to scale. It's something big. you would think that it was a, a piloted aircraft. Yeah, but I mean, like, if it's just violently crashing into the woods up you at the top of the mountain, you don't, you know, you don't, can't tell what it is. But that was pretty funny to me, mobilized. There was another story that turned out to be different than what I thought it was, but my first blush at the headline mm-hmm. made me think it was another story of, like, human incompetence. It's Galactus's it was both... condom floating to Earth. <laughs> 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 this big clear flash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, not Galactus <laughs> devourer of worlds. It's Galactus right. defiler of <laughs> worlds. The world's been raped. Right, yeah. Is that sinkhole in Russia? Right, right, yeah. nowhere? The giant <laughs> super caldera <laughs> yeah. has uh, erupted a... after Galactus violated it violently. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very different uh, right. take on the Marvel Universe. It did not go over as well with the, right. the family, uh, with the the Comics Commission or whatever. The, or what, I, I can't it's remember Earth the name 69. of the group. Earth 69. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marvel Earth 69. <laughs> Somebody's going to make this now. Yeah, <laughs> It'll yeah, be yeah, like maybe. a webcomic parody somewhere. Like Marvel, the Marvel sex verse. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Anyway, the other news story that at first I thought it was a tragically hilarious tale of human incompetence, but now it's just a tragic tale of of uh, 
nature's cruelty. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> it was a story about, like, apparently, I can't remember exactly how it was worded, but it said, like, starving sea lions overwhelm, <laughs> like, you know, 100 starving sea lions, like, overwhelm. stupid whale already, right? They can't talk to other whales. Yeah. Anyway, so did, what, what did the sea lions overwhelm? It looked like, by the way it was phrased initially in the headline, that it was talking about that aid workers had been re-releasing, you know, um, rehabilitated um, sea lions, and, and then they were just starving. The actual, yeah, yeah, and then they were no just starving. Food. And for some reason, that was both sad and funny to me. Right. These people were like, you know... Like that Simpsons just, where she releases yeah. the, the bird or hamster and this or squirrel and that... A hawk immediately swoops immediately down and takes it. it. Yeah. And they, they have other like internet footage of that, of, like actually happening. People like yeah. letting go of bunny, and, and then, then it just eagle the eagles it. takes it away. You know, it's just like <laughs> just the cruelty of nature. Right. Sometimes it's just like, it is both hilarious and sad because I mean these people were doing a kind thing, but right. at the same time, well, that's what happens. That's when you nature. Fuck with things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it ended up being the case that apparently on the shores there's just hundreds of seal pups washing up, starving. Like apparently. They had a big breeding season, and for some reason, there's, there's not, not enough food, food out there. Like, they overfished it, or, you know, random things can happen. The right. school of fish and the, can migrate differently this year, or um, they think it has something to do with the temperatures of the water Change this year. Pattern of Changed all the, the fishing pattern, so, like, the, the food that was there last year isn't there this year. And right. Like, you know, or just like most organisms, it ha- happens. They have a big boom of food. They massively breed. The next year, there's a famine. Right. Or and, there's not even or just not quite as, as much, much yeah. as there was last time. Or simply, be, there's the same amount as there was last time, but now there's twice as many animals. Seals, right. So all these seals are washing up, and they're, like, overwhelmed. They're like, SeaWorld shut down its sealed exhibit because they just were stuffing new Trying seals in there into the tank where they could feed them and stuff. Right. It's like, you know, on the one hand, it's... Like people like to talk about the negative impact mankind has on nature, and it's true to extent. There's all kinds of pollution or ways that we just don't do things right in terms of like you don't want to live there anymore because you just poison the area. Right. You know, like you look at an old coal mine area. It's, I'm not. I, we need to mine coal, right. but at the same time, you look at some places, and yes, it has an impact where this but place is not the only kind of thing. To do that, we're just better at it. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you look at termites; they have that same kind of thing or on a bats. Small, they like fall. They like die in their own shit because right. they made it like. Toxic. And none of them take care of other species. Right, was going to exactly. be my final point. They're if, not even conscious. All of these, of it. yeah, like any we species, if given, help like things said, if nobody given else resources like the food, they would all expand and pass the point of equilibrium. Right. Especially if, unintelligent. If they have animals. the ability to. Right. Yeah, like, well, basically every the only reason out there is a constant us. attempt to do that. Right. Because it has to be just to overact the natural forces that are trying to kill Right, it. yeah, exactly. And, we've just and unless you it. have the intelligence of a person, you can't check yourself and say, right. this, is wrong. this is enough, right. you know, and say, like, okay, we're at a sustainable level here. We need to back down a little bit before we pass and exhaust resources or, or something like right. that. But also, most of those fears, I think, are overblown in I some think we senses. Eat the seals. Yeah, well, there you go. That's, that, that's one way <laughs> so to take care of it. Have some free seal. That, that's my point. It's like a lot of times it's just we got such weird hang-ups about sea stuff. World. It's like, well, it's sad, yes, that all these seals right. are dying because there's not enough food. But at the same time, it's just, it just happens. So there are, there are two things we can do is what we're doing. We can try to take care yeah, of no, it. I don't see all those. But, or you can just admit that this is going to happen. And, too, I don't see all those people who are like, do like blackfish or whatever. Yeah, I don't yeah. see them out there rescuing all these right, seals. Right, yeah. SeaWorld is the one spending seals. thousands of Probably their dollars a millions. day. Yeah, millions, you know, of well, dollars. millions of dollars total right. to take care of all these Random dying seals. seals. Meanwhile, some guy pushing up his glass is like, they're evil. Those Doesn't lift a goddamn finger, kind of you know. Yeah. 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 yeah, hilarious. Yeah. I don't give a shit about orcas anyway. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> I understand. Like, oh, what has an orc ever done for me? Right. Well, it's funny because, like, to me, on the one sense, I get it. There is, you know, that captivity alters beasts. A captivity right. would alter a person. So there's a case to be made for maybe it's better not to have any of them in captivity. But on the other hand, it's a fucking animal. Like, yeah, and they're not mistreating it. They're not mistreating it. This isn't, you know, a dog fighting ring or something. Right. You know, it's, and I like how the, one of the common things they use against it is the fact that it's like eating the people every once in a while. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't really care. These people yeah. are like, that's the thing. It's I, a I risk. don't care both ways. Yeah. Like, if these people want to have a pet. Uh, like a wild orca pet, I don't care, and Same I also thing, don't like, care if they get like, eaten by it. You know, <laughs> Siegfried and Roy get bit by right. the tiger. You know, I like really it's, it's risk of the job. Yeah, you know, I, yeah, like whatever. Go both ways on my. Oh my uh, god, somebody died while bungee right. jumping. Well, it's part of what you know. Exactly. It's a risk of the I, I job. Think they should be able to do it, and I don't really break a, or shed any tears when they get mauled by their wild pets. Right. Yeah, that's that's one of the problems of our society in general. Is everybody feels responsible for everybody else's mess. Well, they think there's a way to mess up and make so none of this shit ever happens. Right? Back, they think they can make it. the world perfectly safe. Yeah. If you just do something about it, like what? That's something that 
like a litmus test I think people need to follow that nobody ever does yeah. is people say like somebody should do something yeah. it's like and they think like the government or an organization right. should be made to do something it's like I look unless that. you're willing as a personal person, if you yeah. think you would be justified to take a gun and force this guy yeah. to do or not do something, then nobody else should be allowed to take a gun and what force this guy to do or not do something. No matter what the law is, regardless, like anytime you're saying something should be a law, you're literally saying it should be enforced in the worst case scenarios with a death penalty. Right. Because when yeah. you're saying something is a law, the police and the government are enforcing that, and their last line of of uh. It goes from physical it goes from kidna- it goes from fines to kidnapping to right, because they can't like force a fine literally they right tell, they're using physical fine violence is a warning to enforce a fine saying, yeah exactly and then after that it's physical violence because well, they can't make you they can't just like take your money most of the time. right well I'm saying you're you're yeah. basically empowering the government to say to use if you do this we steal from you if you we kidnap you, you or we kill you because if they don't voluntarily go along with whatever the quote unquote punishment is right they have physical force is the only real right. tool that they have well, I'm saying the, the three tools they have is we. Steal from you, finding. But still, take only your money. physical force is really only to right. When the end, it all devolves right, to physical because the force. Right, they can take else. your money is with physical force. Right, but that's what I'm saying. It's like the, right. the three tools are all physical force. Right, we take money from you right. by force. We take you away right. by freedom, force, and we take your life. We take away. your life away right. by force. Now, and any law, even if it's like there the has to be your, laws. Your law is backed up. By, yeah, but yeah. people don't think about that. Right, but they don't think about the fact they that when I make the law is a hammer. You're saying. I think that this issue, if it came down to it, should it's be enforced worth with a death penalty, basically. Right, and that's that's my limits test there. Right. If I think it's worth me fighting a man potentially to the death over right. to stop it, it then it's worth on, having so a law. Yeah, yeah, if it's a hill worth dying on or killing on, right. then it's worth a law. Now, there can be other laws, too, in a certain extent. You know, like we said, ones that we don't want to use a force penalty to start. But like you said, it has to accept that it could go that way. Right. Like we say... You know, like a speeding ticket can get to the point where you have to capture the guy and imprison him because he didn't pay a speeding ticket. Yeah. So now, because a guy well, I don't went to right, but I'm saying because there's a law <laughs> right. in which you're not supposed to go that fast, and this guy didn't hurt anybody but just went that fast, right. it can end up with the government empowered to kidnap this person, or kill them if they resist, their or kill them if they resist re- arrest. Right. Yeah. If they like basically fight, like defend themselves against physical violence. Right. Yeah. That they didn't initiate. Right. You know exactly. What I mean? So I won't get too, and that's the too off topic too, like, on ranting yeah, about no, it. Not too off topic, but people just don't want to – used to be that a lot of people just did the freedom of association. We just we just want to associate with people who behave that way. Right. And that was the most effective enforcement. Yeah, shame actually. Shame was, yeah. was better because it, it – most people have uh, – it's just one of those human things that to be a part of the group. Like we don't want people like that around in our little groups. So right. get the hell out. Right, and yeah. so people would reform themselves. But now to they stay just don't want the to know that even people like that are existing. Right, so now shaming somebody planet. or excluding somebody is the worst sin of all. Yeah, you can't so shame. now the only option Unless is force. Unless you're an evil thought criminal, so they have to use laws. Unless you're to... an evil thought criminal, then right, it's okay right. To but shame I mean, them. the evil thought criminals are the people who are using discretion right. or discrimination so in the in the literal sense. Like I discriminate right. between what is good and bad behavior. Therefore, oh, you're a thought criminal because you looked at one behavior and said that's bad. Right. And Even the, though they're saying that behavior is bad. So right, yeah. The exact of course, I, I know it's a, hypocritical, but anyway. Yeah, we won't go too far down that rabbit hole because it's just a yeah. raving den of madness <laughs> yeah, and dissatisfaction. Exactly. And, and we all know. There's but, no, no good can come of it. Right. Yeah, so starving sea lions. <laughs> Thought it'd be funny, but it wasn't. <laughs> it's, just a little, it's a little funny. It's a little funny. Yeah, like yeah. the whale that couldn't talk to other whales. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's right. a little funny. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So I ran out of gas on my motorbike. I was out there contemplating how much better I am than the lowly other people. Without motorbikes? The, the lowly people yeah. that do not Well, it's them. weird because I didn't actually run out of gas. But the way it works is my bike does not have a um, gas gauge on it. Yeah. You just go by. And it makes sense because, I mean, like, where would you put – up until recently, where now they probably have the ability to have digital gas gauges. There just wasn't Before, a Before, there was no real – yeah, where are they going to put the floating bobber thing in there? So you just go off of your uh, odometer. And you can look in the gas tank, too, for much more easily just, yeah. than you can in a uh, a car. A car. But you just you get a feel for how much what your mileage is, what your. But I haven't had this one that long, so I and I guess still feeling it out. Yeah. Well, they, they also have to kind of also um, help out with the issue. They have they're like not tiered tanks, but it, it's they're structured so that you have like a fuel reserve. But it's yeah. not because there's a separate tank. It's just it's like that there's a reservoir within the tank. Sort of like there's there's the tank and there's two parts it's and like stages, normally gotcha. no, it's just part of the tank. But the, normally the fuel line is pulling from an upper level. And then there's also a way yeah, that you like can switch it to pull from the very bottom and get that last little bit, and yeah. that's the reserve. Is you sort of you don't pull from the bottom until you need it or whatever. 
So it's not. It's all mixed in. It's just yeah, the same yeah. tank, but there's two there's places. There's like a low spot. So it'll run hard out, hard. and then you really have some left because you can start pulling from the very bottom. But I guess at that portion, either I'm not getting the gas mileage that I thought I was, or the reserve, what they call it, is a Small lot more. Hard. No, more than I thought. Oh, okay. Like, a, like I, the top part is not as much as I thought, and there's more in the reserve. Like I thought it would only be yeah. like a quarter gallon, half gallon or something, but it might be more than that. So anyway, so you just putter it out, and then you just turn on the reserve, or like yeah. open up that part of the tank, yeah. and then just go to the gas station. So it wasn't a big deal, but yeah, it always feels weird to yeah. be like run you always out, feel like it's hard, gas. even yeah. if it's designed to do that. Right. Like in that situation, like it's designed to just simply switch the reserve, right? You know, like racing cars are designed the same way. Well, I mean, you have to manually like, do manu- it, right? But I mean, like long term yeah. racing cars, like uh, yeah. rally cars, are designed a similar way. Like eventually, you will have to switch to your reserve. It's almost tank. like a notification of knowing how much fuel you have left if you haven't been paying attention to. Right? Yeah. Because if or if you messed up your mileage, you're like, wait, how? I re- accidentally right. reset. You still it feel something. like it's hard every yeah. time you run out of gas. Like, oh, right. I'm out of gas. And you never know for sure if it was just the gas. You're like, okay, right. this thing just died. Yeah, exactly. And I thought I had enough gas, so what yeah. The, but... Get a moment of worry as you think, oh no, this new. Th- yeah. Bike I just bought is crapped out already. Yeah, I mean it's used. It's not new. But... Right? Yeah, but I mean I just got this right. and now it's gone. I was fairly certain that that's what it was because I thought I had like twenty to forty miles left that I would get before I had any issues, and then it yeah. puttered out. So I was like, mm, it's probably just a gas. But yeah, yeah. Never know for sure. So I guess next I time that. you have a motorcycle story, though, it better be more exciting. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about motorcycles, that, man. I popped <laughs> a mad wheelie and clipped someone with the front tire. There you go. Whipped out a soccer mom's windows with a chain. You lost and lost pull, some gas whipped, whipped because the of the bullet out. holes in the, yeah, exactly, in the tank. Right. right, and I whipped the baby out of its front-facing uh, car seat. <laughs> right. To punish yeah. them for not having a rear-facing car seat. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Threw the baby under their tires. I guess death, that's, death I guess that's the, um, the problem with my litmus test about the law, though. Yeah. Is there all are all sorts of busybodies who want to like break windows to get dogs out of cars yeah. and stuff like would you do that would you use would force to someone. stop this? I'd kill someone for having a dog in the car oh right. my god you know, like, oh. <laughs> or for having your lawn look yeah lawn. I'm not saying it's the nicest thing to do your dog or even the right thing to do but I'm not gonna start a fight with a guy because an animal is in a car, you know, like. And I think that you should, if you, but you have to start the fight. You can't right. get someone but that, else to see, do that's, it. That's what I'm saying. Like that would be the. You're willing to risk head. your life. If you're willing to risk it. your life, a lot of the there would be a lot more busybodies than I would like who, be, who would be willing to come up and be like heckle, heckle, pester, heckle. You just give them but then they just get cut. punched. Yeah, you know, exactly. like, you know. <laughs> you see how long just that lasts. Messed with the wrong There's redneck one day. Doing that basically ostensibly with the police standing right behind them. Right, Even though they're yeah. not literally, that's the uh, the idea is that they right, yeah. that they have this backing them up. Right, like that's the problem. Like if if, if there was the old dueling mentality right. in our society, where like if hey yeah, you want you want to make a case, life over. you want to make a case against somebody thinking that this is wrong and it's wrong enough that I'm willing to stop right. it with my own two hands, and, and then say okay, life on the line, yeah. right, but then. This fight is now sanctioned, and it, you don't get to call to the police right, so afterwards. This guy, hurt me. So this guy hurt me. It's like, nope. I've, I've really thought that should always be a case. Like, not necessarily to the death, but that you should be able to say, like, I mean, I guess you technically could. You could always say, hey, we're going right, to Right, but the problem is match. nowadays, it's just not you would, if you attack anybody, even if both parties agreed, it would count as assault legally. No, I mean, Unless you, you stage you like a, a fight. sparring or something, you can do it in a gym and it wouldn't. But no I guess willing so, yeah. to do that. Yeah, well, it's a long way out of your way kind of thing. Most cooler heads prevail by the time you have yeah. to uh, it's just not, set it's up not in our fight. culture anymore. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even have to be in a gym. You can just say like videotape us saying, "Hey, we're sparring." This is yeah, sexual, yeah. you know, because you don't have to be in yeah, a gym yeah. to legally spar. But most people aren't reasonable enough to, right? You not know, because that's like good. that's a question of honor type to, scenario. Right, they don't want to. Lose. People are both intractable on a situation like this is the way I want to live and what I want to do right. and I'm willing to fight for it and that butts up against guy two's way he wants to live and ways he wants to do and he's willing to fight for that and then but the problem is most, but most people, people are, are not just, willing really to fight for it right they or they just want to lash on out their behalf. they want to be fought on their behalf or they just want to lash out in that moment right. and if they had to step back and think about it they'd be right. like well I really don't care about it enough I was just angry right yeah, there I exactly. wanted to tamper tamper with my fists right. you know Wanted to break somebody's they window. A, cho- a decision, you know. They, they weren't making a decision to fight for their beliefs or their right. personal way of life. You know, they were just acting on impulse. Yeah. Right. So yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> oh, this just goes back to one more thing. I probably shouldn't even get into this shit. Keep but it light. Just, yeah, Keep exactly. it light. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, English? <laughs> Please fill her in the stabs. <laughs> right, yeah. Going down. <laughs> down in the political town. No, you know. Um. <laughs> uh, 
what was that from? Pete Pilgrim stabs. I think it was Independence Day. It was Independence Day, yeah. State it's like was. they're coming up. He's trying. They're trying to pull high G maneuvers. Pete Pilgrim stabs. Well, yeah, <laughs> like they're coming up. Or they're coming up with it. It's shielded. Pull away. Yeah. I can't. Go they fell in the stabs. I don't know why, the, that don't know why that's so funny. Was, yeah. This is stabs. The stabilizers. Right. Yeah. Pete Pilgrim stabs. Right. <laughs> and then he dies. Yeah. <laughs> totally different scene, but also. That, Put your mask back on. <laughs> you can't pull. You can't bank at that speed. Our brother posted one that uh, we I don't know why but we just quote. You can't even call it a quote because it's yeah. a sound. Yeah, but from Jurassic Park where uh, Jeff Goldblum was like, rah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, that and he posted like some song thing. Yeah, but they used loop. it. Yeah, like, rah, 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 yeah. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Goldblum laugh, you know, yeah. from Jurassic Park, and then just make a song. <laughs> and he's retarded, like, techno song with a rah, rah, rah. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty glorious. <laughs> These are the things that stick in my mind. I can't yeah. remember what the fucking day of the week it is. Yeah. I remember the complete failure is tasked. Yeah, right. <laughs> and picture the scene right, well, perfectly in my mind. Yeah. So what, uh, what Anyways, danger zone goes back to the into. fact that um, I should not, I'm just, I, I really, really hate that Facebook is pretty damn useful for keeping in touch yeah. with people and just general communication because it's just devolved into such a, yeah. a hive of scum it's just and good enough, to, yeah, It's <laughs> just good enough that you keep it even though you really should. Well, it's just too damn useful. What I, should, I shouldn't use it for any. I shouldn't go to look at it. Right. I should only use it when I need to use a communication aspect of it. Right. I should never peruse my feed. I should only use That's the messenger I mean. I should just and use, like occasionally look at people's Because it's very pages. good. It's just like an online um, Rolodex kind of in yeah. an easy way to set up like Low key events, even. Like, and, you're like, and to keep track of people to come over, with friends that you're not going to have phone mean. numbers for. They're not, well, even if you do, instead you have, of calling them all up, you just make a group message. And say, right. Hey, we're all meeting. But together. let's say, let's say you can have both kinds of friends. You can have the friends who you're good enough with that you have their phone numbers, right. and the friends you're just acquaintances with, and you can all have their Facebook. Yeah, like maybe I want to know where they are and what they're doing or be able to contact them but I'm not going to call them once maybe once they meet right. or friends you meet at a party or at a function you're or like, like hey, just add me on Facebook like to, fight you next time yeah I'd like to know where they're at but you don't so. need to have their phone number and be like hey man I'm going to text you at right. night and, and I don't need to see doing. what they think about fucking the seals at SeaWorld <laughs> right yeah exactly I don't need to hear their comedy like it's so sad or every, right. half the thing now is every you know every fifth one is somebody Having a freak out, like I'm tired when people say this and that, oh, and, like, and that's sort of what I was. God, you know at. what? This is what I was I'm thinking. tired of people saying this and that, but I don't write that on so Facebook. I've just, just turned into the most obnoxious bro, and I. Well, I just need the to, people are dumb I just need to say stuff to, on um, too. to post it. I respond. Mm-hmm. I put like just hilarious things. Yeah. Like one was funny. I'll have to put the picture. Yeah. On the thing, but someone posted, and this wasn't even a bad one. It was just a lame one. Right. And uh, yeah, because there's nothing wrong with it. It was just a typical, non infuriating, lame fair that you see on Facebook. But this girl I know posted, and she was like multi race too. So she yeah. posted this thing. It was like, studies have shown that mixed race people are more attra- view- generally viewed as more attractive. Yeah. So I just posted this picture of um, John Candy from Spaceballs. Yeah. <laughs> like, as the mom. Yeah, just like mixed dog human. Goofy yeah. look on his face. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that's yeah. all I did was post that picture. <laughs> like, mixed race faces are more attractive. And he's like, <laughs> like right. his cheese ball face with yeah, the dog ears. Yeah, one of those things, like, <laughs> on the surface, it's benign. But on the yeah. so what you really know is stupid people. because it's based on nothing real. It's somebody who is mixed race wants to feel better about themselves. So what the thing. reason is? I just I don't know. I mean, like, we, okay, based on what study? Based oh, on what rule? That's you know, what I'm like, saying. Like, you can't. What two to this two shit. people? Two ugly people of races can't breed? <laughs> that's right. never happened. You know, like well, maybe even be true that on average, I'm, I'm probably yeah, not maybe surprised. maybe because like only the res- the best genes happen to bond together. Yeah, I, don't I mean, know, but just like. But what, what are you saying by, with this statement that we should force mix all well, the races? Saying anything. That's the thing. Like, they're not yeah, saying like you're anything. not saying anything except something they about like... They got positive like, emotions from it, so they put it... Right, exactly. That's, well, that's what I'm saying. Why. 90% of the internet now is right. the stuff that like, you know, studies care, show that a... this group, like 20 things that only redheads will understand and like, <laughs> right. God, shut up. Life without a soul isn't that bad. <laughs> it, the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, basically, it all comes down to it. it. Like, it's almost all look at me, please. I can't get yeah, enough it's all attention. it's boring. Yeah. But that, yeah, that kind of goes back to what I originally got us down this already hairy, fraught and perilous, hole. you know, yeah. fraught and perilous. Well, well I'm, I think the, the mission here is I just need to actually block it so I don't see anyone's 
posts. Like, you, <laughs> yeah. you have them as friends, you can still contact them, but you just don't see anything that they post. I've already had to do that with more people. I just forget that you can even do that, because I'm not right, like yeah. Facebookaholic or anything. Some people just never post anything of their the own reason creation. I go they there is because stuff. there's a small number of people that frequently communicate with me on there. Right. And then I just happen to see all the other stuff while exactly, I'm on Exactly, yeah. I'm not going on there to, like, troll and it. like I said, it's not that they're posting their own stuff half the time. It's they're always just linking to all these articles that I don't care about. No, that's what I'm saying. And, they're all, and the attitude of everything on the internet is so... Look at me, or some sort of aggressive, or some sort of well, shame. There's validation seeking too, right? Well, I mean, saying it's like either validation seeking or like tut tut outrage tut, seeking. you know, outrage <laughs> inducing. They're addicted to know. outrage, yeah. And so it's like none there's of two, it. Two things are addicted to outrage. No matter and what the content is, its tone is always something that like I don't need to see this. Right. You know? I don't need to know about this. Even if it's something that's it's technically make... true, it's like what's your point? Kind yeah, of exactly. Yeah. yeah, like there you go. Like, isn't this awful? Right. Yeah, it kind of sucks. So what? What are you going to do about it with a 250 word essay on, you know, buzzword or whatever? (laughs) Buzzword. Yeah. Jizz word. Jizz feed is more like it. Anyways, yeah. But the the one that made me think of this is I was like, dude, if I see one more simpering milk toast dude post a complaint about like being friend zoned, I'm just going to want to murder his friend. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Sometimes that's for my friends too. I want to just be like, dude. You're my friend, but this is fucking you embarrassing. In a fleshy patch where your nuts should I mean, you know, be. <laughs> there's there's groups of men and women. It's different for women about the complaints that they always do. Like the ones well, there's, there's there's always the same complaints. But there's, there's other the complaints. Thing that pisses too. me off about the the whole friend zone thing. The guys complaining about is there's nothing you can get mad at women about. It's like it's like women getting mad that guys won't talk to them when they're like morbidly obese. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're gonna be a simpering like lame ass dude who puts up with being well, treated like, like said, that, I, I can then it's your fault. I can understand the friend zone being an annoying thing. I understand why guys don't like it. Right. Because it's like, hey, I was trying to get to know you as more than a friend, and then it turns out I wasted all that time. Yeah, yeah but the, the thing is, how much time are you really wasting? That's but your the fact that if you turn that into a, wah, well, it's I your got fault because zone. you don't like you know, people then, who are who are yeah. um, not being losers to to for lack of a better word will right. not get friend zone because or even if they do, they just go well next with well, this person. Not you know, like, zone. They made their intentions clear. The person wasn't interested, which is nothing wrong with that. No, not everyone's going to be interested. Yeah, I guess it's and only friends zone if you life. stick with it. That's what I'm saying. If you just sit there and be mad like, well, I guess you, like, we'll just be friends. Like, I'm not interested. Well, I mean, Bye. I guess it depends exactly. You could say I got friend zoned just like, I'm saying, like hey, we don't, I came to her and I said, let's go out. Man. That's what I'm saying. That's not being friend zoned. That's just getting rejected for a date. And you with the friend on. zone maneuver. Yeah, but that so, doesn't but that's happen not being for someone in like, the no friend thanks, zone. I'm not interested. Right, well, I'm friends. saying, yeah, so it, it, you can't, it's, like, I'm just saying that's a semantical thing. Like, I'm zones. saying, a, you may a, get quote, turned down. Right, but a quote unquote real man could still get friend zoned, but the problem is so. he never complains about it because it doesn't ever stick with him. Because let's say, like, if somebody says, hey, baby, let's go out. It's like, I don't know, I just think of you as a friend. He's like, well, you're lost and you walk. Right, but that's not you know. a friend zone. It depends on some people's definitions. Because that's being rejected with the friend zone. M- move, but it's not. They're never going to say that to someone who wasn't right. Already but they'll never mention the word friend zone because they just take that as out, you know well. I mean? They just take that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that too. Yeah. yeah, hang around for six months or something, or right. or like I said, even if you do just happen to know this person for that long, and then you decide, you know what, I really do like this person. Let's try it. Right. And then it turns out they're not feeling the same way. But then you go yeah, then on, then on Facebook. True. See, the problem is, it's never really that. That's what happened. Like, I get that maybe one out of a million times there could be that situation. Like, you got your shit squared away. You have been friends with this person for a long time. Somehow didn't realize you were attracted and maybe they lost Or you were attracted to them, but there was no situation in which it was like maybe they were dating somebody, you were dating somebody, and then later right. on. Right, and somehow you know, then you do or change initially it, you and just, they say, no, I'd, I would rather just stay friends because they're, they're not. there's no attraction there or whatever. Right. Then I wouldn't even consider that being friend-zoned. Because right. they're talking right. about this, that's, this unique that's my fake point. scenario. That's my point, that, is that... Yeah. You could. Some people might still call that being friend zoned, but it's not what these. But it's people not mean what these people mean. That. Yeah, when they're using it as they're a, being rejected, like let down softly, and then bitching about it. Well, I mean, it's still it's still a dumb way to let somebody down. But whatever, who cares? You know, yeah, like, but it's not something you should blame. The honest, the, the right? Yeah, the honest way, just say I don't feel it that way, and Realize then don't that come you've back. Been rejected and move on. Right? Yeah. yeah, the honest way, to say I don't feel about you that way, but don't come back with. But we can still be friends because that's a simpering thing in of itself. Of like, is, but, but I can't no, handle the fact that you're mad at me now. So let's be friends. Are, yeah, you know what I mean, it's just like I said. But be whatever. Like getting mad at guys for not being attracted to fat chicks. Right, exactly. It's, not, it's just like part like of the terror. If you're a fat chick, it's like sucks. But it's nothing you can get mad at them for. It's right, the way you're yeah. You can't get wired. mad at the the gym rat for be, not being attracted to. Ooh, like, like, like he's this guy's obviously genetically wired. You know what I mean? To, yeah. to behave in certain ways. 
So, I mean, like, get your shit together. Yeah, so all these people just are, like, lame, milk toast, hang around for, like, two years and finally manage to... Most of the time, they probably won't even actually let their intentions known. It's just during this period. See, the one that I like, see... I'm right here. The one that I see zone. that it's not even really, like, friend zone stuff that I see the most that bugs me. I mean, I guess I just don't see that as much among my friends. It's, it's the well, ones where, like... I don't see it that often. I just see it on people bitching about it on Facebook. Right, but I mean, like, among all the friends on Facebook, the one that annoys me, too, is you'll see friends, like... A relationship goes bad or somebody rejects them. And yeah. then they make this like three post yeah. rant or like over several days they keep messing look, I'm it done with dating. Yeah. And it's like I, I know just I be quiet about it. You just know, like this, yeah. just like I know it sucks, Amazing. but like call a friend and vent. Right. Don't post that shit on Facebook. No, like lame. nobody has any filters anymore. It's lame. Yeah. It'd be like, you know, it's like airing anybody, male or female, airing their dirty laundry in a breakup. It's just low class. It's just like and it doesn't make you attractive. It's not saying you shouldn't want to talk about this to somebody, but you don't just shock and blast it out there to right, everyone you exactly. know. Exactly. It's not like saying, I'm not trying to invalidate it with somebody, but saying your feelings have been hurt. Right. It was a meaningful relationship for a significant amount of time, and now it broke up. It. But First it's the of way all, you deal it's, with it's it. Lame. It's, it lacks decorum, if nothing else. Exactly. And it's not my exact point. At all. Yeah. It'll haunt for one, you it too. doesn't make you look more attractive. Right. For two, it lacks decorum. You right. know, like, and so, and. So, like, the real thing to do is, yeah, like, I'm not one of these people who thinks a man's got to be a man and never have feelings. Yeah. Well, but, like, you should have a circle of close friends with whom you can speak about this stuff in private. Right. But in private is the right. operative word. Yeah. I mean, I think it's actually healthy for relationships that if men and women have people they can talk to of their gender, that, right. so they don't take certain things to the other gender, simply because certain things come across, no matter how well, just like what I was helpful about, like, the other person different. is. Yeah. The other gender will take that as an unattractive thing. Right. You know, like you could talk to your guy friend about something that a woman may find unattractive no matter how sympathetic she is. Hear about and it. vice yeah. versa. Right. It's you just know, not like a woman be really see it the same way, you're not gonna be interested. Right. Just because there are certain things that men and women will never see the same way and they need to acknowledge that to each other so that they can have a healthy relationship. Right. But on the other hand, it's like don't blast it on Facebook. Yeah, like, and men and women up. do this all the time. You know, like, oh, I just so broke like a up. Sad and, like, sack like, of shit. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's like you <laughs> it's know, not, it's really just the bottom line is it doesn't help anything. Right. There's nothing that's helped. It helps you it. feel better well, for five seconds. To, to somebody say, "Oh, I'm saying. sorry." That's exactly what we're talking about. They're seeking Milking validation. for attention. They want someone to say, "Oh, you're a great person. You didn't deserve this." She and didn't then they deserve you. Or he's a he's a son of a bitch. They need to improve because they were fucked over. Right, or even if there is nothing for. you need to improve. Let's say you were 100% did you know, everything okay. Right. The other person just wasn't that into you, and it, so it didn't last. Right. And uh, and they br- and you break up. They decide, you know what? I don't want to be with you forever. Yeah, that shit happens. Goodbye. Yeah. You know, it, that happens. And But then if you go <laughs> on right. Facebook, or like, the fuck that bitch, or like, right. this this bastard took me down, and he doesn't know what a real woman is, and like, you know, right. like, nobody looks good from this, except right. for the guy who walked away with his mouth shut, or the girl who just left. They're the the, only, oh, the right. ex looks good at this point because I don't hear them right. you complaining. Don't anything about it? Yeah, I don't they hear just them. Moved on, they, they decided what they wanted out of life. And of they course, did it, and then you know, of course, on. they may be doing the same thing. Except I don't have them on my the Facebook who, feed. Usually the one who initiated the breakup is not the one going on Facebook bitching about it. Well, yes. <laughs> yes. Normally. N- I can't normally. believe I broke up with them. <laughs> Sometimes it does happen where they, they preemptively try to make themselves look good by blasting like Facebook. Facebook little... Like, there's only so many so much distrust I can take. Right. Yeah. Oh, honey, oh, what's God. going on? I hate that. Uh, I always respond I've to had to, I, I Seriously. I respond to those in, the, one like, or two girls. in like insulting ways. Like they'll put something... In, like, I can't believe this happened. I'll be like, don't worry, everyone's first time is awkward. Or something <laughs> yeah. shit like that. Like, I need like to. if you don't tell me what's going on, I'm going to assume something hilarious I know, and rude. I know a few people who I really just need to be Speaking like, of stop which, it. This is, yeah, you're I a close know. friend and it's making me I feel like you're vague booking again. Yeah, friends don't vague. let friends vague book. Yeah, exactly. But there was one that, this is it. another thing that Facebook does. This isn't really related to, like, shame or any, like, on this annoying shit, but it, um, if someone's, f- like, you have a friend, if they're, like, post or tagged in a picture... Yeah. It'll throw the post up, and I keep thinking that it's like their post, so I'll like yeah. comment on it, like yeah. something ludicrous, and then realize I'm commenting on this person that I have no idea no, yeah, who they are. Friends with your friend, and yeah. so the, most recently I had a friend who um, got engaged. So it's just a picture of him, like with her in the ring, you know. Yeah. And so I thought it was his picture. Oh yeah. And so I posted. But they tagged like, it to show this other friend. Hey, look, I've been like, engaged. This person was I've tagged in a picture. Yeah. And so and then it posted on my wall because he was tagged in it. Right. But it still let me comment on the post. So I was like, oh, his, he posted this picture. And I wrote, <laughs> I wrote, cool, when's the stripper party? Right. And I realized it was her picture. And I posted that amongst like all her relatives. Being like, congratulations, <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, like all and those I was like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah. 
So it's like all you her thought you're family. telling your guy friend who's recently become engaged went to those stripper bachelor right. parties. And this is a joke anyway. Right, yeah. Because he probably is but just going to have like a, not a regular party. But... His friend was telling no, him. No, he is engaged. Oh, to But it was woman. just her picture. Oh, okay. So it posted it on But it could have been the other scenario with this linking. That's the problem. Well, I knew it he was could've... engaged because it showed him with her with the ring oh, okay. and everything. It showed them both. But, but I just thought say... he had posted this picture. It was a it picture was on, on his, his wall. Feed or his wall. But it was yeah. a picture. She posted it and it was a picture on her wall and it just, ta- it, she tagged it. So now they'll think it was a male stripper party that you're joking about. It's okay. Joke well, they, I mean, they know what it is. I think they just were just like, oh. Right, <laughs> like, yeah. Who's this oh. guy? Who is this guy? Well, that's the thing. I'm just developing an even more brotastic persona on Facebook. You have to. So yeah, you're like, just, way like to make fun of everything. Like, if you're trying like, to take my it all seriously, it's like, on the 4th of July when I have uh, American flag everything and I'm just doing like this crazy flexing pose. And So that's yeah. a picture people see when it's like, when it's stripper party and it's like, American bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, America. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I'm like, whatever. Fuck you all. have to because if you try to be serious, like really talk to somebody like, look dude, this kind of rant about your breakup is not helping. You need to They're stop. They're not interested in that. They're not interested but if you, you take some joke, they'll take the hint and shut up, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe. Or, or they'll continue. It shows how ridiculous it is. Right, yeah. Or if nothing else, you get a little entertainment out of it. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it keeps you from being enraged. But see, the bottom line is for every one of the people that says something uh, like realistic or even funny there's yeah. just a, even guys like it's getting bad like a woman can post any random selfie and, and a thousand people thousand will be like likes. you're so beautiful and even the guys will just, and a lot of times it's funny because I'm like these are not flattering this is not a flattering picture yeah like they'll just get liked no matter what Right. Well, it's, it's just self-reinforcing. Everybody is so saying. desperate for a so thumbs up. they need a little boost that of, they um, all do it to each other. It's the I giant ego circle. Dope, I guess dopamine, dopamine boost. Yeah. You just post a picture of yourself and you get a bunch of people saying, oh, you're beautiful. It's or everybody you better. You'll jerking each other yeah, off metaphorically. Yeah. In the assurance it's the next time they throw their dick out so there and somebody will jerk it, it for them. The problem is it stops to be them from having to really seek that, those positive emotions in any other way in their life. They don't have to make right. any real positive changes because they can just get a quick fix or without actually doing anything. Ones. Like, even if you're not doing anything big, like, oh, I've cha- turned my life around. Be huge if you hang out positive. with like, real friends. real positive changes. Right. Real, just, like, like, actual ways you know, of feeling good emotions in your real life. Feeling good emotions because you're hanging out with real That's people. That's what I mean. Like, just having a really going good time. Out and actually seeking I don't mean really good time, like a very highly good time. No, but, but like, just enjoying a yourself. A good time enjoying your for life. real. Right. Not, oh, I've posted a picture of me and one person at, you know, down at the park, and now I feel good because it feels like 20 people were with me who were not there. Or they're not really happy about well, really where their happy. life is. It's they're like just clicking yes, so that you'll click. They'll click no, things I'm like, like these people post a picture and they're like they're not happy, but they're like okay, I feel better now. Or that the other people don't even really like that. They just click like so that you will click like, like when they do it. When yeah. they do it, and they can feel mildly <laughs> happy that everybody's jealous of me and my exactly. day in the it's park. Pretty ridiculous. But that was the rabbit hole. Yeah, the deep, we deep down. rabbit hole. <laughs> but it had to be said, it had ladies to and be, gentlemen. Yeah, exactly. Clean up your Facebook act. <laughs> yeah, clean up your act. And I will continue to post hilarious shit that's yeah. nonsensical. Like, yeah. the best one for women is um, when they post these stupid selfies, is either it's just a ew or gross. Yeah. <laughs> I like the one too, actually they be attractive, like, though. Because right. if they're ugly, then you put then gross. Really it's really just really just yeah, nuclearly bomb. Oh, yeah, then you're being real mean. <laughs> I mean, it's still hilarious. Don't get me right, wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's, uh, or I like to too. see, I like to comment on, um, I mean, I don't comment on these pictures anyway. Most they don't need it. But if you have to. But if I just feel like being an ass, I'll post like about whatever they're blocking. I'll be like, get out of the way. I can't yeah, that's see, exactly I can't what I was going to say. The, like, the people post all the ones that are like, great day well, the beach. Funny, and it'll be only their, their face. Their yeah, exactly. And them like, and their boobs. I'll be like, move and, like, like you're blocking the beach. The beach. Like, I can't see the beach. Right. Because you know? <laughs> that's what it is. It'll yeah. be like, great day at the beach, great day at the car park, right, great yeah. day at Disney World. It's all the same picture. Me and picture. my family at Disney World and like you just see it's the eye of the husband behind her shoulder and cleavage. Right. I can't see Rob, you know. like It'd be like one of those pictures where it's like, girls be like, and it's like, Funny day at the beach, it's just their face. Right, yeah. <laughs> just got a new car, it's just their face. <laughs> yeah, this was funny. Like, you know, guy said it's car's like, like beautiful. Out in the like, a guy says beautiful sunset, there's a picture of a sunset. Of the sunset. <laughs> Girl says beautiful a sunset. Her face. Her face blocking the, the sun, sunset, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> Blotting out the sun. <laughs> right. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blotting out the sun. That's the best one. Is ew. Yeah. <laughs> it's like post ew. Just meh or something. Yeah, yeah like just, no, just ew. Gay is always a classic. Yeah, because meh sounds just like gay. butt hurt. Yeah, yeah. Sure. If you're like meh, it's not a great picture. Right. It yeah. just sounds bitter. But if you're like ew, gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like no wait, he's Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> or gay. Gay is a good one too. Yeah. Gay. Yeah. Doesn't say. Yeah. Just like gay. nice sunset. Gay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the worst. It's so. It was hilarious. There will be a 
hilarious string of like 27 comments. These people saying, oh, you're beautiful. I love you, babe. Oh, oh my God. Day. I hope you had Heart fun. Heart fluttering. And then like you put one comment like gay and that's the one that they'll respond to. <laughs> right. Yeah, like, exactly. gross. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're like, hey now. Yeah. It's like, look, you got 20 to 1 positive comments. Right. Or there was one that one of my friends had, um, and I consulted him on this comment. I mean, like we consulted good at the insult yeah and he was um that, that's and she was like he can oh turn that God. into a business insult cons- consultator you know consultator. like <laughs> consultator <laughs> consultation <laughs> yeah <laughs> paid consultations you need to be an annoying twat yeah i will teach you how paid consultation paid consultation <laughs> but it was um sorry was like, to our parents and family who were listening <laughs> i did and it's just like something totally unsolicited blast in blast onto the right and yeah. i was just like oh so we consult on this and he was like hot nice try no one was wondering <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. and she responded like that one text got like 50 in response <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> like uh, a blast of like every three minutes for like the next eight hours <laughs> right yeah that's the thing people are so sensitive that they they will literally resp- the only thing they have to do is ignore the bad comments I have, I have a, and the, it won't a streak of sadism away. that I've been that's been growing out of control though most people don't have yeah exactly <laughs> and like tormenting people right well the thing is like, life. you know tormenting what's so funny is that I for most of my life pro- consider myself like one of those people who thought decorum and politeness was super important, but it's gotten <laughs> other so unspeakable acts that decorum prohibits mentioning here. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Was, wait, like, what was it? It was from Animal or uh, Animal House. Like, yeah. Acts of perversion it's so bad. So decorum decorum it's prohibits it's mentioning them exactly. here. <laughs> but like, you know, just because I thought that like part of being civilized and a grown up was like. You know, having now some you know that decor. what is right is to crush your enemies. And see the driven, driven before, before you. you. Well, and hear like, the lamentations. Well, it's not only that you can still do that, but with style and decorum. Well, but, not really with decorum. You can do it with style. Right. But. Well, I mean, a certain level of decorum. Like you can crush a man and then not necessarily you resolve can do it with to honor and dignity, calling. but not really with modern decorum. Right. Well, that's what I mean. Like there's honor and dignity in it. But right. now the problem is that people are just so fishing for this banal stuff that you literally just have to insult to puncture right. this. Mm, saccharine world that everybody lives in. Where... Yeah, well, the problem is that instead of, like, you've, you've seen this, um, I don't even know what to call it, but there's definitely this trend towards trying to avoid or shelter yourself from, oh, is this going to be another fake call? No, this is a real one. You can always pause the tape. No, I'm going to let him. <laughs> I'm going to let him leave me a message. But, uh, they're just Our trying audience to shelter, demands we don't stop this the, gravy yeah. train. From any uh, negative emotion, instead of trying to yeah. just deal with it and move on. And realize, right, instead of finding a healthy way to deal with it, you simply And you see it with like, the bullying it. thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, and that's the stupid thing to me about that bullying stuff is that instead of teaching people to fight back against bullies in an appropriate way or to um, literally actually even make measures to punish the bullies, right. they just try to shame the bullies with this, bullying is bad and if you realized how bad it was, you wouldn't do it anymore. Right. Obviously, these people don't care about other people's feelings. Right. That's why they're bullies. Right. You know, like, the well, and it's only, weird because they're focusing. Yeah, and they're to, to the only way you would start. get these bullies, bullies to stop and is to doing punish people them. a big disservice by saying like, "Oh, you're great. No one should be bullying you. We don't know why they are, but you're great." And it's like, no, you don't teach people that there are no monsters in the world. You teach them how to deal with the monsters that right, you know exactly. exist. And you can tell them like, "Hey, look, don't take it personal because this guy t- bullying you is something about him wanting to pick on somebody." Problem is, is he and, saw yeah, you as the, the weak why link. Is almost irrelevant anyway. Yeah, also, I mean, that's it. Like you don't have to take the why personally. Right. That's an okay teaching, but they turn that into, don't take the why personally. You just be yourself. Well, you they, just they go. They turn into then... this shouldn't be happening. So it so it shouldn't be happening. Right. Like, well, that didn't say. help yeah, anything. That, like yes, we're, we know it shouldn't be happening, right. but you're not teaching somebody how to make it not happen right. or how to deal with it when it does happen. And it will because I mean, it will. That's the point. People will do evil in this world, and you need to learn that. Whether it's crime or whether it's whatever. You can't totally eliminate the bad things from happening. So at yep. some point you have, instead of trying to avoid lifting anything heavy throughout your entire life, it's much easier and more fulfilling to just get stronger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then when you inevitably do come up against something like that, you'll have a much easier time with it. Right. Because it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the category is. Right. And also to me, I think a lot of it is, like I said, this unwillingness to punish now. Like they won't... Yeah. It's, well, they're trying to. to it's, they're, they that's their only option to have because a negative outcome from anything, even if it's their right. Own even fault. if they're doing even a criminal or evil or bullying or thing, stupid or, or stupid, stupid thing, thing, they don't want to punish the people or let them suffer the consequences of their own actions. Right. So then their only is recourse is then to, to try sure to spread the try again. to spread the feel good. Right. Because you can't punish the wicked, 
The only thing you can do is go to the victim and say, oh, you poor victim, everyone should love you. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't blah, your blah, fault. Blah. It's like, well, yeah, cool, but like, yeah, I'm still missing an that, arm because yeah. somebody macheted it off. You know, right. like, that didn't, you telling me these nice things didn't stop bad Like, that you didn't deserve this. It's like, look, I know I didn't deserve it. That's right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, we're getting too serious again. Yeah, again, getting too serious. This is the truth. Truth is... Well, I can segue slightly into... It's into the funny pages. Okay. Oh, okay. And we just no. talked about no, this. No, well, comics, actually. But okay. this is something... Unfortunately, it ties into this. Oh, no. Oh, no. But Wait. we might get into a little... No, okay. it's probably still going to be bad. <laughs> it's still going to be too heavy. All right, well, what? We, but anyway, topic. I'm getting tired of the X-Men. Yeah. Like in comic books, the X Men was predicated upon the idea. It started out as a way to now explore it's all the about idea. The diversity of mutants or something. Well, right. It initially started out as a way to explore topics of like minorities and uh, discrimination and stuff like that. Yeah. And by hiding these ideas and the idea of like people born with powers. Right. They're born different. Born right. different is the idea. And so they could explore that topic. But of course, it also made for an interesting idea in divorced. I think really it took off though because divorced of the commentary it was trying to make. Right. It was just a cool idea of evolution. And that's the right. way it ended up going more. The idea that one subset of people was evolving to be supermen right. and the rest of humanity wasn't. So there's some Therefore, there's going to be conflict. Issues, yeah. Because are these people now our masters? And Do they want to good, be our masters? Not all of them are, are good. Some of them are good. are good, the people are like resentful of the resentful. new superpowered beings right. like this is a realistic thing like you know if people start manifesting superpowers in our midst right now it would cause a lot of problems it would cause a lot of problems the problem is it just doesn't work in the Marvel Universe because everybody already has superpowers yeah, so it wasn't really a- everybody's running around going go Avengers but you guys who have superpowers we don't like why? because right. you were born with them and because we had a contrived plot where you have to be hated right. and they've had 40 years of storylines about everyone hates the mutants and persecutes the right, mutants. Yeah. Meanwhile, Spider-Man and everybody else have been running around just fine. Yeah, no issues. And, you know, the S.H.I.E.L.D. is hiring all of them. And right. you can have this universe that's bifurcated with two storylines of like, this one half of the superpower community is persecuted because they're born with powers. Right. Everyone hates them and these like, religious right groups want to kill them because God didn't create evolution. And then like, you know, all these, you know, overdone <laughs> storylines like, ah, oh, facepalm. And every storyline too where the heroes meet each other is just this, like, you don't believe, you know, like, you never understood the X-Men and our plight as mutants, you know, you never really helped us. And it's like, dude, they've been inviting you to join the team every decade that these comics have existed. <laughs> the 75 So now, years. like, now the X-Men just look like assholes. They just look like the people. And the like problem is bitter they, butthurt, like, bitter butthurt, like, bitter butthurt, separatists. Separatists, like, <laughs> you weren't born, like, we weren't born like you, and you so you hate us. Okay, you know you're right. We were wrong. Come like, be you one know of what? us. I'm starting to hate you. <laughs> right, it's like, yeah, like, you're, you're right. We never included you, so now you're included. Well, you know what? You weren't born like us, so we can't be part of you because you, know you never understand. Actually... So wait, so you don't want to be part of us? Like we we're now, and so it just it's a like, tired you trope. To respect that we are, anyway, and it's starting to it's starting be to make the character real life by the fact that X Men movies are shittier. Yeah, because they're done exactly. by Fox. <laughs> right. Well, exactly. Like there's that too, but also like the premise is just I don't think it's going to be weird to see what happens to X Men comics as this the social. A logical, the mental cash of this idea loses currency. As right. people become tired, tired of that it's storyline, over, it's tired. The overuse yeah. of the persecuted group that, you know, right. it's, it's not a good conflict. It was a good conflict, like I said, in evolutionary sense, but it doesn't work in a world like in a which everybody sense. already has yeah, superpowers. Makes sense. If you, if the X Men were in their own, and other comic book writers have done versions like, like this, yeah, where, there where is only the there's X-Men only this small group of superheroes who come to power, and now everybody's scared of them because. Like Watchmen or something. Yeah, but like you know, these people have weird powers. Should we trust them? That's a and it's happened really that's a fine and yeah. This is a fine storyline. Right. But when you turn it into a social commentary about like and like these people have the exact same powers that all these other people have, right? And they don't get along simply because well, we were born this way. We didn't get them in an experiment. Well, half Who of these guys were born this yeah. way too, and nobody gives a shit, you know. Or he's from outer space, right? Or half of them are from outer space or alternate or dimensions, or, or right, like you know. And what's so funny to me is half the recent storylines, like you know, of like they've done a lot of like S- X Men, uh, Avengers crossover comics mm-hmm. and stuff recently, and they all devolved to like them infighting over them, and it's just it's so it's tiresome. Lame. Yeah, you're like this isn't what people want to see. This isn't what, what people want to see. Like, you, and, like I literally the X Men are assholes now, yeah. and I want them to die. If you just want to see a family squabbles and just go home. Right, and like half the storyline, <laughs> like one or two of the storylines were about like you know the bad guys wanted to create another universe where the X Men could go live. Like they would take all the mutants off Earth and go live in a utopia of only mutants. Yeah. And it's like, that actually is a good idea at this point. Do right. that in Marvel Comics so I don't need to see another mutant 
mutant. And you can have another universe where mutants just deal with mutants and they can all gripe about how persecuted they are. Right. The whole I'm so persecuted thing basically is a becoming weary in any, any medium. Aspect of in life, any yeah. aspect. And it's going to lose its cachet as an entertainment device, as right. a storyline and entertainment. So I don't know. They better learn to come up with another reason for the X-Men to exist other right. than to be the I'm so persecuted group. Exactly. And that's probably why Wolverine's the most famous of the X-Men because he's the one who talks about that the least. He just drinks and stabs things, you know? <laughs> like, he just says bub and gets angry and stabs things and survives Speaking everything. Of, I guess quick, not really quick healing factor, but could also be referencing stabbing things. Right. Uh, did we already talk about this? The world's first dick transplant? Not on this. They did but, it in uh, South Africa, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Because apparently, I didn't no, know this, in South Africa, there's like a bunch of people who have like almost adult circumcisions. Ugh. Like it's like a custom and they've no, done probably, really poorly African and get infected all yeah. the time. And so they lose their dicks to gross infections. Ugh. Why don't you just go to the hospital if well, you got to do it as a kid? I don't know. Right. If you have a religious conviction. persecuted like the X-Men. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Right, yeah. Again, we were trying we're to just dig diving right back this. into this We're digging away out this, this cesspit. With penis transplant right. stories. I'm trying hard. On a lighter note, trying hard, yeah. dicks have been cut off so with bad so circumstances. Presumably you get a um, a cadaver dick. Yeah, I guess you have to. Yeah. Who's going to give up their dick? <laughs> oh, no one Donate does. your dick as an organ So, I mean, donor. hopefully they were generous, I guess, to the guy. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. So, are you going to get a lot of guys with a white skin, black right, penises? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or like multicolored, you string three of them together. Right. Oh, I mean, if you're going to sew two together, why right, can't yeah. you sew three together? But you need to like upgrade your heart too and get a heart yeah. transplant to account for the new blood pressure you need to, you know, <laughs> you've got that much extra mass that you have to <laughs> service <laughs> that you need blood to So yeah, so dick transplants coming well, up. Coming to a... We went down a completely different bad path with that one. <laughs> it's the future, man. It's the future. It's the future. Transplant everything. Yep. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, on that high-class note, I think that's exhausted my topics and uh, all of our topics in general. So we'll leave you with that one. First dick transplant, go human race. It's <laughs> been the English and English podcast. See Later. You. See you next time.